Hey guys, Games for Life here, and in today's video we're gonna build the biggest bite farm we've ever built on the channel. You might recognize this place, this is our gas farm on Aatrox. This is how we get our gases for the chemistry lab back on Glacio. And we've also got some nice power items here to produce a ton of power. But in today's video we're gonna build a bite farm right here in this place. And you can see we've got tons of resources right here. This took a lot of preparation, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. If you don't already know, I've got an automation playlist on the channel. This video will be in there. You should be able to find it on screen right now. You can go ahead and save the whole playlist so you can watch all of the videos in there. But now let's focus on today's video. So let's start by unpacking the platforms. So we've got three large platform C's right here. So we'll unpack these. We'll put them right here. And I'll explain how this works as we build it. So we should have two of them Right here, this is where all of the research chambers will be, at least in theory. And then here we should have our atmospheric condensers. Now there's basically two ways to make this design. So we could have three atmospheric condensers right here, and then some auto arms bring the gases to these research chambers, which are three on each side. Or we could do it another way, where we have one atmospheric condenser and two research chambers on each of these platforms. But let's see how the first option goes and then we'll decide between them. Both of them should work, at least I hope so. So let's get our atmospheric condensers and let's unpack all three of them over here and then we'll see if we can figure out how to make the auto arms grab everything correctly because I'm not sure they actually will. Actually I just had another idea. So we could have all three of them like this next to each other and then this one will have the atmospheric condensers let's see how this works and then we'll have auto arms going from here to here yeah I think I like this idea better so we'll do this but you can use any of the three designs I just mentioned all of them should work you just need to figure out the auto arms all right, so we've got three atmospheric condensers right here. We'll get them turned around. Then let's throw some medium storages on this side. Like a safety net if any part of this gets overloaded with stuff. And then we'll place some over here as well. There we go. Alright, now let's put the research chambers in place. We've got six of those. Now let's unpack them. And there we go. And they're all facing this way. Okay, so this actually looks pretty nice. Uh, we'll need some power over here. So let's get some standards. We should be able to get power from the base. And maybe, hopefully, we have enough power to sustain all of this. If not, we'll have to just add some more power items over there, maybe even some more batteries. And that should work. Now let's turn all of these on. Have all of them on. From the beginning. Just so we don't forget to turn one of them on later. So we've got all of them turned on. Now, I don't know why we have this. Maybe that's for another design I had in mind, but I forgot it right now. So now we'll place the auto arms in between here. Something like that should do. And in the meantime, let's turn these on. Let's do methane for one of those. Make sure to hit the repeat button. Otherwise, this won't really work as a farm. Okay, so that does methane. Now we can have a nitrogen one. Yep. And a sulfur one. Oh, and I forgot to hit the repeat button for this one. See, so that's really important. Now these should all get thrown on these medium storages. And then we'll have the auto arms grab that. 
and it will put it over here. Then once all of these three are going, this other auto arm will get to take the gases from here and it will send it to this other platform. Now we should connect these as well because they need power to And here's how this should work. So one of them is filled. We'll wait for all three of them to get filled. And then this will work. Now, I'm thinking maybe our actual best strategy is to have them all on methane since this is the higher concentration out of the bunch. So I'll do that. You can do this basically with any gas on any planet you want. Basically just go for higher concentration. Since this, I think, let's just make a little experiment. So this is 160 bytes per minute. This is only 80. And this is 92. Yeah, so definitely I would go with methane for this. Just wanted to test it out real quick. So yeah, all three of them are on methane. This should get added over there. And now let's check if this works. Okay, so this no longer take it. So the auto arms grabs it puts it over here and then this starts working. So we should have all six of them working in no time. It looks like we are low on power. Yeah, I expected that. And imagine if these three were going at the same time. Yeah, we wouldn't have enough power. Our batteries are already depleted. Yeah, and there's no sun and no wind right now. So we'll have to wait either for the sun to come up or for the wind to start blowing again. And it's all red right now. Yep, so we'll definitely need some more power. Everything stopped. Yep, so this basically only works if you've got enough power to sustain it. Which, right at this instance, we do not. Oh, and it's back online. The wind started blowing just a little bit. Yeah, so let's see how our bites look. Okay, so this is going up pretty fast, actually. Like, this is... This is actually really good. We've already got 92,000 bytes. I mean, we had a lot before from the other byte farms. But still, this is going up significantly. And this is not even going at full speed. Imagine if we had more power. All of these could be going at full speed all of the time. So that's what I'm shooting for. We'll definitely make another video where we'll have a ton of power here on Aatrox. We'll grab some of these large wind turbines, we'll get solar panels, batteries, everything, so that we can get this to max speed, just to see how fast the bytes would go up then. Like, I'm really curious about it, and we're offline again. Yeah, so this is gonna keep happening from time to time, but it's okay, it's not an issue. So I hope you got some cool bite farm ideas from this. As I've said, there are multiple designs you can do. You can even scale it up even more. You can have two platforms with atmospheric condensers and then you can have four platforms with research chambers so that should be double the bytes i mean i don't know why you would need that many bytes but maybe you want to hit a goal like having one million bytes hmm, maybe we'll do that in the future but we'll see now don't forget about that automation playlist i talked about earlier this video will be there other cool videos will be there including other byte farms admittedly smaller ones that i built in the past We've got scrap farms, astronium farms in there. So basically, yeah, save the playlist. And that's all for today. I've been Games for Life, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, astroneers.